What is up, everybody? It's G here. And welcome to season two of Let's Make a Track. This is episode one, The Drums. And I got a special treat for you. This entire series is going to be in Ableton Live 10. We're going to be using my sample pack, Detroit Dub Techno, which is out on 5-Pin Media. You can pick it up over on Loop Masters. I'll have a link in the description. 5-Pin Media is not paying me any extra to make this video series. Uh, so it's not sponsored in the traditional sense, but it is sponsored in the sense that I made the sample pack. So if you go and buy it, you're helping me out a little bit. You're helping the channel out a little bit. And it's greatly appreciated. Not a lot of sound design, more like sample manipulation is going to happen in the series. And that's cool. So that being said, this is episode one. The drums. Let's get started, shall we? So find wherever you have the sample pack or any sample pack, really. And uh, because this is the drums, I'm going to get some drums here. Uh, I don't want to use loops, so I'm going to go over to instruments. And friendly reminder, I am using Ableton Live 10 Suite. So some of the instruments and devices may or may not be available to you, depending on which version of Ableton you're using. So I'm going to go over here to drum rack. I'll pull this in. Right, and now we're going to go down here to one shots. And we're going to go drum. I want to start with a kick. I'm going to go with this one and drop it on C3 just because it makes life easier that way. Okay. Now I want to clap. I'm going to go with this clap here. I'm going to want a shaker of some sort. I like that. A little crispy one. And we're going to want to replace that. Go with this guy here. Put that over the shaker. We may do a different open hat later here, but this kind of gives us the basics. I mean, most of my dub techno, I'll bring this in a little bit. Most of my dub techno. Very sparse in the drums. This may get a little more drums in it. It may not. But we'll see what happens here. So we're going to double click here to create a new MIDI track. Go down to the kick. And I'm going to bring this out to two. And then we'll just. Actually, I'm going to bring this back just a little bit to help with some tail there. So that way we don't get any weirdness going on. And then I'm just going to duplicate you across. All right, and then clap. We'll go here. We'll make you the same length. Control, click, drag, bring it over here. Then we're going to highlight these guys and bring them back just slightly. Add a little bit of kind of swing there. Shaker where an open hat would be. So like this, Control D to duplicate that. And then the hat, we're going to do something like this, I think. So, Control D to duplicate, and then let's take a listen. It's a little swingier drum beat there. I'm gonna bring this out to four bars, I think. And at the two, we'll do a clap here. Right here, we're gonna go. We'll do a double kick here. Put the clap here. Sounds pretty good. It's pretty good drums, I think. I'm gonna do a little bit of work on the uh, on the sound here. So brings up the mixer for the drum rack, and so we can kind of mix stuff. As you can see, we're kind of peaking here, so we want to bring this a little lower because it's really loud. So we're just gonna turn everything down here real quick. I'm gonna work on this kick. You might say, "Hey, there's some noise in there," but that's because a lot of the stuff was recorded to tape and then recorded back in and some other processes were done on it. So 
first things first is I'm going to audio effects EQ8 on the kick here. As much of a thing there. Want a little bit of the noise there. And then here, 30, that's good there. Sounds better right there. A little bit of a bump there, but more of a bump here. Like like seventy. Yeah. Now, I know you're supposed to do subtractive EQing, but we're kind of molding the sound and then we'll do some EQing around that, so. Kind of like my... Kind of like in that right there. It's kind of a mute kick kind of sound. Now we gotta bring the volume down on this because this is definitely louder than it needs to be. Do 3 dB. And we'll put a compressor on here. We're not gonna do makeup gain on it though. I want a knee. Take a look and see how much we're doing here. Just a little touch there. The release to auto. Doing that will just automatically adjust the release based on uh, what it sees going forward because this is a forward compressor so we'll do 10 second look ahead on it so read 10 seconds ahead of the sound of what we actually hear and determine what the release should be when you get those double kicks in there it'll be a little better let's group these real quick control g just to that's kind of just started a little bit. A little bit of the click back in there. Yeah, I'm liking the way that sounds. I'll go back here so I can see what gain reduction is. And we're at like what? Perfect. Okay, let's bring the clap in. So I'm just going to copy this over there so I don't have to constantly drop effects in. But we're obviously going to reset this. Yeah, I'm liking that. And the shaker, again, same thing, just paste. Set these. And then you can be at 1600 again here. bring it up. All right. And a closed hat. Oops, looks like I uh, did that. All right. 
reset all gains here. Put this at 1600. Oops, whoa, nope. 1600. Go back to the drum rack here and click here to kind of show everything and I want to put a return device in here add audio effects in I want this reverb here so that way we can have a return channel for these guys Right, so I know I'm not talking a lot, I'm sorry. Uh, but I'm just doing this to add some like depth to the drums here so they sound a little better, right? Okay. Drums are sounding good. And I'm gonna put a redux in here. Cause Part of this too is gonna to be like, I'm gonna go a little, little lo-fi, a little dirty on this. And we're gonna put a saturator on here. Now my default saturator here is high quality with solenoid fold, uh, which is more like tape emulation. And this raises it by three dB, so just. Gain staging, drop that down. Turn soft clip on, although it's not really close to clipping, right? And then, actually, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do here, actually, I think, is I'm going to put these at the end. And I'm going to group these and turn them off for now because I want that to be kind of like the idea is going to be, I want this to move over here. Okay. The idea of this is going to be uh, recorded the tape and then sampled back in onto an old school sampler. I do the 12 bit there. And then maybe I'm going to add some EQ8 and then bring. I'm going to turn you all off here. I've got eight. Yeah, eight will be leave it at sixteen hertz. Quality right in. Right. But before the saturator. on here because we're going to want this to be all in mono before it comes in yeah these kind of he's got a bit of phase on him don't they and I'll lose a little bit of it. Turn mono. It's 
so we can help that out. Just put a little bit of saturator on it. Kind of crunches it up a little bit. Okay. it to glue everything together kind of leave everything at the defaults here oh they have some cool presets here is gentle side chain gentle two bus side chain parallel. yeah we're not going to do anything parallel on this just yet we'll do that in the final mix down this we just want a little bit of touch there this is that around there. We're not going to do any makeup. Turn soft clip on. Let's see. Not much. Bring the utility. I want my drums to be around negative six because when I get to the mastering, I do like kind of uh, before it gets to a real master person, I do a little bit of coloration, I call it, uh, which bumps it up to about 3 dB. So cool, it's kind of a lo fi drum sound there. And yeah, so that's the drums. I think it turned out well. It'll be fun drums, so it makes them dub around. Although, I don't know. This adds a lot of like groove to it. Let's I'm gonna turn this off for now. Thanks for watching episode one of Let's Make a Track season two, starting with the drums. Normally I don't start with drums, uh, but I thought it'd be fun to try to do it this time. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Let me know what I did wrong in the comments. Let me know what you would have done differently. That's what I want to know. Let me know what effects you would have done differently or how you would have done stuff differently. It's always good to hear how people would, they'll do stuff. So with that being said, I've been G and I'll see you in episode two.